Many businesses rely on forms that their employees, vendors, clients, or customers complete. Creating interactive PDF forms can enable businesses and users to save time, reduce paper, and eliminate costly errors. Let's look how easy it is for your business to create fillable PDF forms with Foxit Phantom PDF. To add interactive form fields to an existing form created in another application, such as Word, first convert the current form to PDF. We can manually create each form field. The form field options include push buttons, check boxes, radio buttons, combo boxes, list boxes, text fields, signature fields, image fields, date fields, and barcode fields. In this example, we want to make each form field a text field. The easiest way to do this is by choosing Run Form Field Recognition, and Phantom PDF will automatically recognize the text fields in the form. Lastly, click on the Hand button to start filling out the form. Continuing with the same example, we would like to make one of the text fields to only accept dates. To do this, click on the Text Field button, right-click over the Date field, then select Properties. Then go to Format and choose Date from the drop-down menu. Next, pick the date format you want to use and close the window. To check out the new form field, select the Hand button and then click on the Date field. Now a nice calendar displays to select the date. To convert a scanned form image to a fillable PDF form, start by converting the image into a PDF. If you want to edit the content of the scanned PDF form, you will need to OCR the document. See the OCR tutorial for more information. If you just want to make it a fillable PDF form without content changes, we can go directly to creating interactive form fields. Let's add a combo box to the state form field so people can have a list of state options when they are filling out the form. To start, choose combo box on the form tab. Then draw a box in front of state, click over properties and select options. Here we will add different state options such as Florida, California, and New York. Lastly, go back to the hand button to check how the new combo field looks. Now you can choose a state from a list of options. Finally, we can generate a barcode in the form. To do this, select Barcode Field from the Form tab. Then draw a box anywhere you want to put the barcode. For this example, we'll put it on the header of the document. Click over Properties, choose Value, and Pick to select the form fields that you want to include in the barcode. Next, click over Close and a barcode will be generated. Create your own interactive PDF forms and start collecting data today.